Hello everyone and welcome back. In this very brief module, we'll be learning about masks in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so what are masks? So masks are basically used to reveal certain parts of an image or an object while hiding others. Okay, so they're just used to reveal certain parts of an image. Let me explain to you what I mean by that. So I'm just going to come here to um, file then please okay let me just let's just come to this folder this mask and clipping mask uh, folder or this mask folder and then um, select this girl image okay so let's assume we are doing or we are creating a poster maybe a fashion poster or makeup poster okay and let's assume you want to just make uh artboard like this okay and we have this image okay we have this image here and we actually want it to just appear in a circle right while having probably a font or a type here let's maybe fashion week it's like fashion Week. Okay, and then you just make it big. And kind of make this zero. Okay, so let's assume we want this image to just appear in a circle. How do we do that? We use marks to do that. So just create your circle. Okay, and then make sure your circle is on the image. Okay on the image and just select both of them and right click and make click mask that's all that's all you need to do and your and your um, your image will appear in the circle right and basically that's how masks work so um for masks to work the shape has to be a vector shape okay the shape has to be a vector it can be a font okay but it, it cannot be an image it cannot be an image it has to be actually a shape that has parts right so it can also be a font like i said it can't be an image okay and for the part that will be masked it can be an image it can be a vector it can be whatever you want it to be okay so let's assume we want uh, to mask this uh, word fashion week maybe into a circle or something like that you can just select the both of them like this right click make click to mask and as you can see it's now inside and what if we want to adjust our image okay what if we want to adjust our image all you need to do is to double click on it and as you can see now we can adjust our image and with this uh with, with this transformation guides we can resize our image we can resize our image we can rotate our image okay depending on just what we want to do and then if we want to release our masks we can actually release it to kind of enable us see our image in full again we can just right click and then release clipping mask okay do that's just it very simple and that's how masks work right just as simple as that so just come here and import the other image okay let's import this image and create a mask with it right then just come let's release this guy because i don't like the way it looks just release it and delete they just copy this uh, font and maybe send this to the back okay and kind of come to your artboard tool and create a new artboard by clicking on these images click on the image to create a new artboard and let's type uh, nature right nature so we'll create a clipping mask with this image right and with the word nature so let's just adjust our fonts let's kind of 
adjust the spacing and also the size just make the size bigger now we have a shortcut for clipping masking so we don't always have to select and right click okay we can just select them and control 7 okay control 7 and everything will go perfectly and yeah now this is what we have perfect nature yeah and then i would like us to work on something else let's assume we have another artboard right just delete this guy and let's say we want the word nature but we have them but we have the characters as separate entities okay on their own so let's create outline to separate them and then on a group to have them as separate entities okay and then why do we want to do like this maybe because probably because we want to just create a very nice design right okay we increase this guy and reduce this guy and just play around with the entire design right so maybe this is what we want to achieve this is what we want to achieve fine we're going to achieve it and then we're going to create our clicking mask Okay. Perfect. So um, let's come here and place our image once more. And then I will send to the back. And let's select everything and control cell, right? Wow, what do we have? You can see that it doesn't work. Okay, control doesn't work because um, undo, because we have them as different entities. Okay, they are not one. Okay, they are not one. So it won't work in this case. Now, what's the solution to this? The only way we can solve this problem is to combine these paths. Okay, combine these shapes, and we can do that by making them a compound path. Okay, we can do that by making them compound part. Now let's just kind of further adjust our set our design. Okay, further adjust our design. Make this bigger. Okay. Now how do we turn our shapes to um, how do we turn them into compound masks? Just select all your shapes. Okay, select all your shapes and come to objects and then come to compound path then make so as you can see we now have them as a compound path so they are now the same they are not one okay so when you select this guy and select this guy and control seven we then see that our clipping mask now works now works perfectly and we have what we wanted to achieve nature <coughs> okay so we can do clipping masks for whatever type of shape we want the shape doesn't matter all that matters is that we follow the rules okay all that matters is like that we follow the rules you should make sure the uh, you should make sure we have a setting like this okay um, Make sure we have a setting like this. What do I mean? Uh, we should make sure we have the image behind, okay, and then the shape above, right? Then select all and control seven. Now we see that no matter the shape, we can create clipping masks. No matter the shape, we can create our clipping masks, okay? So this is just all we need to know about clipping masks we are definitely going to use clipping masks to 
be designed in the future. And with this, we've come to the end of our video and of course our module on masks in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, see you in the next one.